God, I'm such a baby. It's not even like I was... Was that the door? God, okay, okay, get it together. No need to make anyone else feel bad just because you can't handle things. <sighs> hey, you're home early, huh? Hmm? Oh, no, it's no problem. You know I like spending time with you. I mean, if I didn't, I wouldn't be dating you, right? Um, not that you have to feel bad on the days that you don't come home early or anything. It's just that I, well, I guess I'm just really happy when you do decide to come home early. So I'm happy that you did today. So that makes today totally a great day, since it was already good before, for sure. But enough about me, since we both kind of already know that my life is pretty much pretty boring, especially compared to yours. I mean, mostly, I just sat around. Not that I did, like, nothing nothing. I mean, I did a little bit of tidying up, some laundry, but, you know, just the usual kind of stuff. Nothing all that fancy. Oh, and I have dinner in the oven right now, too. But, again, with the whole coming home early thing, so sorry it's not quite ready yet. N not that that's a problem, of course. Like I said, I'm super glad that you came back like this. It's kind of like a nice surprise, honestly. Sorry that you're gonna have to wait a little bit before food, though. Anyway, what did you do today? More of the same for you, too, huh? I know you've been working on that project for a while now, since you talk about it so much. Well, I'm glad that it's going well, since you work super hard, so I just want things to work out for you. Is it doing okay? Oh, it is. That's good. I'm glad. I know how much it means to you that you do well at work, so I hope that you continue to do good and everything. Hmm? Oh, me? Yeah, like I said, I've been great, of course. Just like I said before, everything's totally fine, so no need to worry about me. Nope. My eyes are red? Oh. Yeah, I guess they could be. Hmm? No, I'm not sick or anything. It's just that, um, well, the thing is, I was watching sad movies. So that's the only reason is all. So I may have cried just a little bit, but nothing really to be worried about since... Everything's totally fine. <laughs> yeah, okay. I've never been the world's best liar, exactly. Especially around you. Though it's your own fault for being so dang observant all the time. If you didn't pay so much attention to everything, then I wouldn't have to be good at hiding it. I mean, not that I'm hiding anything. Really? <sighs> Yeah, okay, so maybe I haven't been having the world's best day ever today, but it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, nothing that you have to worry about anyway. I mean, I don't want to ruin your day just because mine's been kind of bad. What's that? Oh, you want to know what I was upset about? Well. It's not really a big deal. Nothing that you really need to worry about or anything, so I guess it doesn't really matter all that much. I wouldn't want to bother you with it or anything. I mean, really, no biggie. Just some feelings and stuff. So nothing that anyone really needs to worry about or anything. Fine. Okay, so... I know that I said that I would try to be more open about this kind of stuff with you, but I just don't want you to worry about me or anything. 
I mean, everything that I'm upset about just seems so stupid, even, like, a few minutes afterwards. I mean, honestly. Even before you walked in, I was starting to get myself together and realizing that it was... I don't know. It just feels kind of stupid now, is all. I feel like it's just not worth it to make you feel bad for me when it doesn't really matter anyway. Not even to me, really. That much. So, I guess I didn't want to have to, like, ruin your day just because I was having some not good times, but I just... I don't want to feel like a bother to you. I... You... Do you really want to know what's wrong? No, that's fine. It's not like... Well, I guess it is a little bit hard to talk about, I guess, but it's not like anything huge happened. I mean, nothing that you would, like, really need to know about if you didn't want to. And it can always wait, too. Like, I'm sure you've had a long day at work and you were dealing with some real problems, so if you just want to, like, push this off until you're more ready, I totally understand and... Okay, you're right. I'm rambling again. And using rambling to stall again. <sighs> Sorry, I guess I can kind of get like that when I'm nervous. <sighs> Alright. The thing is, you know, yesterday, when we were just walking around the park and- Oh, no, 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 it was a good date. Like, really good. I had fun. I'm glad we went. It's just, well, as we were leaving, you know, I kind of ran into that guy, the one that said he knew me from a couple years ago. Oh, you do remember. Well, that makes this a little bit easier to explain. Thanks, by the way, for acting all chill about that. I know I kind of froze up and then just kind of nodded and didn't really even think to introduce you, and, well, it was just an awkward experience all around, I guess. So, sorry about that. But the thing is, that guy, he wasn't just some old classmate or something like that. I mean, it would have been creepy enough if he was, but actually... He was someone that I used to date. I know, I know, sorry. It was just already super awkward just seeing him, and then I didn't introduce you as someone that I was dating now, and it's not that I'm not proud of you or anything like that. It's just I didn't really know what to do. And, like, since the two of us, me and him, used to be like that, I just thought... I don't know. But when he was gone, it felt awkward to bring it up with you, so I just didn't. And I think by the time we got home, I kind of didn't want to talk about it a little bit, because it was kind of too late, and bringing it up would make it, like, a big deal, and... Well, I know I've talked to you about my old relationships before, and no surprise, they were all kind of dumpster fires. But this one, the one with that guy, well, it was pretty bad, even by my standards. Not that all of my relationships are bad, obviously. The one with you is actually really great. Like, really, really great. Especially compared to that one. And, well, I don't know. I thought that I was just kind of over it, you know, and that it was all in the past, because, well, for the most part it was in the past, and I have you now, and this, and us, and you always make me feel so safe and loved, and all the stuff that I always wanted that I didn't get, and then I saw him again, and it was like, it was like it all came back, kind of. Like the fights we have, and the way he used to... <laughs> but, like I said, it doesn't really matter. 
I mean, I know it's probably no fun to hear about it any more than you already have to, since my life was such a disaster before you, and I didn't want to, like, bring it up or scare you or have to freaking cry over something this stupid, so... I don't know. I just thought it would be okay if I just tried not to think about it too much. But then, when you left this morning, and... I was alone. I... Yeah, I don't know. It's like the thoughts caught up with me, I guess. And it's like... I don't know. There's things that I thought I forgot about that just kind of came back out of the blue and you weren't here. And then I felt guilty for not telling you in the first place. And I didn't want to wreck up your day by bringing it up now or ever, really. So... I guess I was just kind of trying to figure out what to do, and then you came home early before I could, and here we are, I guess. Sorry that you have to listen to all my ramblings, it's just... It's been kind of a long day. So, I'm sorry that I kind of had to rub off all of this stuff on you. It's just... a lot to remember sometimes. Especially when I'm alone. But... I guess talking to you about it did make me feel a little better. I know I've mentioned some of this stuff before, and you were really good with it, I think. In case you didn't know. Like, you wanted to know more, and you felt interested, but open and not pushy, and didn't make me talk if I didn't want to, and... I just really appreciate that. I feel like I need to figure out how to tell you more things. It's just... This is the first relationship that I've had where I feel like the other person really cares about me, just as much as I care about them. And honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. I mean... Half the time I'm just so scared I'll mess it up, or I'll do something that will make you hate me, and then... Yeah, yeah, I know you wouldn't treat me like that last guy did. I know that. It's just... I don't know. My brain doesn't know that sometimes. But... You make me feel safe. As safe as I can feel, anyway. And... I think that's something that I was missing from a lot of the other people I was with before. It just makes me love you even more. I guess what I'm trying to say is... I'm not exactly the best at letting myself be loved sometimes, so... I'm sorry about that. But... I do see that you're trying, and... It means a lot to me. More than you'll ever know. So I guess, thank you. And if it's not too much to ask, could we maybe cuddle? <laughs> Thanks. I love you so much.